certainly got a beast up about this one. Derek Williams, 17 stone one in the white trunks, and David Bay of America is 17 stone nine. So they really are big guys compared to the old time anyway. And uh, well, he's a bit roly poly looking, isn't he, uh, David Bay? We once fought Larry Holmes for the Championship of the World, the IBF goes, and went 10 rounds. That was in 85. That was had an up and down career in this one and all that stuff since then. But certainly been in with the top men. So the Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion, uh, okay, Williams. Carries the tag of the Sweet B Williams. Well, a couple of times he hasn't looked like that against the French and John Sane for the European title. He's also had some good wins on the record. He also had a, a long time sparring session with a, well then really a cheap Mike Tyson. Well, he's taken his shot very well, I tell you. And stays, well, a big target to tackle like him, isn't he? He's certainly picked those well with him. Yeah, well obviously B is not going to have uh, very much mobility with the weight he's coming at. So he's obviously just going to map forward with a tight defence. He can't flip the punches. He's going to block them and hopefully come back to the odd counter. Uh, we'd yet to find out if he's come over really to try to defeat Williams or maybe just pick up a couple of quid. But uh, he's not moving his head nearly enough. The last time I saw him, he was just sparring regularly with Frank Bruno when Bruno was training to fight Mike Tyson. Uh, but went home a bit earlier than expected with a damaged rib. Was Bruno was saying to whip him with a spoon at that time, not uh, not five minutes. Sort of putting the punches there, that the right hand punch to Williams in. Yeah, I think Williams is paying this man a little bit of respect because of where he's been. Okay, he hasn't shown anything in the first round here that he has uh, too much snap in his performance. He's not the least bit mobile, he's been caught with everything. He managed to block a few of the punches, but uh, he hasn't really got down to any serious business yet. Heavy sweat on Williams as well. I think mean, well, he probably warmed up before he got in there. Old Army Sergeant David Bay is a good amateur. He's actually playing 42 first round wins. Well, I think he must have had a few rookies in there to get all that much. contest needs something and it's up to Williams to supply it. He's punching a certainly different class at the beginning of the third round here Reg. He's standing off B a little bit. Uh, the punches are cleaner the jab is going through the target. And this is a little bit better. Yeah there was more power isn't that right hand punch there? Yeah but suddenly he's just moved into a different gear. He's beginning to show that he can perform a little bit. The first two rounds I thought were just a little sparring session. But if he keeps this going then uh, maybe he can impress a few people. This is this is certainly better. Actually, he usually thinks of it better in finding as well. He's a bit static for this one. That's really the first decent retaliation from Bay.
is using that left hand jab as much as he can believe on a dreadful sort of thing he's too hidden at base. I just said I had read the thought. It's just time for <coughs> Williams to try something else, either maybe a couple of punches down the below the elbow, or maybe feint that try and draw some leads from the He's just matching forward with a tight defence in front of his head. So there's not much point there uh, throwing punches to the head. You've got to either open up the defence or uh, move the target elsewhere down to the ribcage. Inside the last minute of the third. But Williams, their uh, punching has been better in this round. And then the whole punches. As a referee, they, I don't know whether you pick that up, but he's got some old throw punches. He's not posing too long now. Our professional is getting paid. Yeah. And fairly well paid, too. And he's listening to that, isn't he, Derek? And he likes that. He responded to the orders OK there. Now, he attacked Jimmy Thunder, the New Zealander, in his last contest. Just like this, but can he keep it up? Or is they still tough enough? tough enough to stay in there with him. He's put the man under pressure now, forcing him into mistakes, and now that he's completely open, but the rest of you have been stepping in at this much up there. Well, he's not fighting back at all now, Bay. And is he pleased to hear that bell now, the American? But just the seconds are having a bit of a talk to him there as if he's going to consider not coming up for the next round, it looked like. So, uh, free play there, Jim. Yeah, well, Williams uh, started performing a lot bit better then. He put him under pressure and opened him up. He forced Bay to do some work and then Bay had to throw some punches. Uh, then Williams was getting home. That was a good burst of punch and a good bit of pressure from Williams. But he must have seen that. And this is from a different angle now. Williams has proved that he can open the man up, so he has to pick up the next round with a left off uh, severe pressure. The sixth round then of this heavyweight contest, and it's all a bit one sided with uh, Derek Williams in the white front. I'll be getting clobbered at all by old soldier David Bay from Philadelphia. And uh, watching this, you wonder, well, he did fight for the championship of the world against Larry Holmes and seen him with another world champion, Trevor Burbick, and Bone Cutter But he was outpointed in Australia by Joe Buckley. He's trying to use, we were talking about using the feet a little bit, Jim, that we do work. And, uh, you know, he can be quite mobile for a big man going for him at times, but he suddenly gets a bit static, goes down to Gavinay's level, really. Yeah, it's certainly not impressive tonight. Well, when I say you your feet, I mean move to the side of the, and they find some target behind the elbow and, and to the side of the head. If he just keeps throwing little straight shots, punch, and he's taking the thing out of those on his hands, and his gloves are just cupped in front of his face. If William just stepped to the side quickly, it would have the, the, the tab got all the way down the side. Now I've got a nice little right hand. So he should be following these, these punches up. He just starts to one pace and it's the wrong pace. So there's some respect to say, I mean, you know, he could, he could have come and taken the money and got out of the quite early. He's taking a bit of a, a slow going over here, but he's still hanging in there. Yeah, and as you said right at the start, Jim, uh, you know, you can make a man look bad if you're not careful. Yeah, he's experienced, he knows he's there around the ring, he knows what he's doing, but, but Reggie hasn't done the least thing that you could call clever. He hasn't really posed to Williams any problems, he's been right in front of him all the way through. He, he's given Williams every chance to shine, and Williams, Williams hasn't shown. He's doing the same things now as he's doing in the first round. And also, I suspect when he warmed up in the dressing room, just carried on. Good look there. Now, where do I throw the next punch? Because his right eye, the eyebrow actually, of Ray is running quite a bit now. Quite a nasty lump coming up there, Jim. I think this might be stopped by the end of this round. 
Well, the swelling seems to be going above the eye. It hasn't come down the below the eyebrow to impair his vision, so it would have to get considerably worse, I think, before the referee would stop it. Now, it seems as though his vision, it's the eyebrow and above where the swelling is. It's an yeah, unusual it's swelling, as a matter of fact. It is. It's coming up as we talk. And I would think maybe the corner men, well, he hasn't won around. What's the, what's the point? But the, the referee will have a little do his scorecard and give the seconds a chance. Now, they're going to call him over to the corner. I thought they would. At the end of that round, the sixth round, and uh, Adrian Morgan, well, he certainly can't do anything about that. And he's quite right. It's a, it's a nasty swelling. There might be a bit of whistling from the, the bleachers, as they call it in there, so up in the boxes at the Royal Albert Hall, but they can't see the swelling over the island. And it's quite right. I'm 